Hey, hey everyone, next man for nine again. My oh my, that frame rate. Welcome to the Valor Lakefront, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, let me. Oh, no, I, I want to uh, put that repel back on. Let's. Okay, yeah, so last time we went to, like, it brought Lake. Lake 214. There are, there are many, many lakes. Now there are these guys. I mean, I don't even know. What's with these deals? I mean, people deal with these people. Hmm. Wait. You know, it's really funny how, like, like Red Gyarados was mentioned so much, and then, oh, there's, there's Heart Gold and Soul Silver. You know, that's, that's funny. I heard that there were like a few references to Generation 3, but I mean, yeah, uh, I think the, her, this, this woman's key is on the other side of that. Um, yeah, so this is like a resort area here, and we cannot go east here, unfortunately. Sunny Shore had a blackout, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Now we have Seven Stars Restaurant. Mm, we got lots of flavor there. We got some people to fight, battle, or whatever. Yeah. And right next to Lake Valor, there's the sea. You know, well, you can't actually see it. The sea, as you cannot see. Kind of odd that there's like a pool here, of all things. Of all places. Of all places, a pool. Pool here? Are you serious? Oh, uh, okay. That guy has a specialized sprite. Probably looks like one of those Japanese Nintendo developers. Though I don't know about their names, you know. Don't expect me to know that sort of thing. It's like Shori, Sutui, whatever, whatever. He's like Satoru Iwata, but I mean, come on, he shows up like every every month with those with those um, uh, uh, Nintendo Directs. But speaking of Nintendo and Direct and whatever, NES Remix, yeah, I've been playing that. I mean, the, today I am recording this on a uh, Friday. Ooh, um, I'm recording this on the Friday, the 25th, which is the day that NES Remix came out. No, bought it, installed it and all. I also got uh, Yoshi's Island, the Game Boy Advance version of that. Um, what? what? Wait, what was that? I don't even care. I bet I, I bet that TM is, like, not too good, you know? Um, yeah, like, uh, like those two came out today. I haven't played Yoshi's Island just yet, but I... Look, look at this, more, more references to Johto. I mean, really now? They're just kind of giving it away. I mean, that th they are, like, simply giving it away. Man, my computer. My computer, please, calm down. Okay, so, uh, uh NES Remix is a lot of fun. I've, uh, been playing it. Or I played a little. I played, like, half of the challenges of Super Mario Bros. 3. It's kind of funny that they have, like, a sort of, um, continuity with them, you know, like, and each one, you know, it's like, oh, now you got the frog suit. Go collect coins. Now go beat uh, Koopaling. That I don't remember who it is. And frankly, I don't care. They're all about the same. Which is why I have no idea why they are put into Mario Kart. I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. Because, like, the characters are, like, you know, give or take. You know, pretty much the same old, same old, or whatever. Um... Anyways, uh, I think, yeah, we got healed up there. Uh, yeah. So we got some, yeah, I think, yeah, some double battles here. In this nice little cafe. I figure I'll get into them, you know. It's not like we're in some sort of dungeon, we have to explore, like, the Lost Tower, and, you know. It's double battles, and I like double battles, you know. It's like, oh, look at that, I got Fernback, I got Neptune, I got... I um, actually this isn't this isn't exactly a good situation. Eh, whatever, cut. 
You're using cut for once. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Now I got toxic spikes. I'm not sure. I think I'll. I think I'll test it out. I'm gonna switch out to devil worm. I'm not sure because I am not sure if um, if steel types are affected by poison or toxic spikes. Okay, they are not. Uh huh. All right, this is getting this is getting a little ridiculous or dangerous or whatever here. Spy spy beam on this thing there, blah blah blah, whatever. <laughs> that was a funny cry. All right, that Rosalia's out of here. No more giga drains for poor old Neptune. Poor thing. God, God hit pretty hard there. Got like, <laughs> it's like collector, like fat collector guy with an aroma lady for some odd reason. I can never understand how that sort of thing can just work out. That sort of relationship. Oh dear God, why is the frame rate going so low? Okay, but anyways, yeah, now, now we got, like, a mother and son. Now that makes sense. And I think we can deal lots of damage to that Quagsire with Grass Knot, you know. And Pichu would, you know, go down with Brian, you know. Okay, now I kind of doubt it. But oh well. I'm going to take it out in two turns. Really? I mean... <laughs> again, 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 I am not complaining, but that was unexpected. It was unexpected. Okay, so we got like two of these little little baby Pikachu kind of things. I don't care about. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Gonna have to heal up after this. Gonna have to heal up after this, you see? Please don't beat it, please don't beat it. Okay. I'm trying to get some experience for Neptune. And that's not gonna happen in the next gym, I tell you what. His next gym is a water type gym. Yeah. Well, I'm hurt. You shut up. You shut up. Shut up, lady. Silence yourself. Oh my. The frame rate. Come on, computer. Calm down there. Okay, okay, there's there's some signs of improvement. Yeah, the, 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 it's this guy. This guy heals you up. I didn't really mention it. No, no, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Why do I keep pressing the button key assigned to A? Why do I do such things? I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't expect me to explain myself. More reporters. Or cameraman, reporter, whatever. Yep. Hmm. You got safeguard. Alright, I guess we'll use Confuse Ray on that and just smash that Magnemite to pieces. Yep. There's that. Oh, and by the way, yes, I am going to get a Magnemite. It's it's much later on still, you know. Not really gonna be anytime soon that we're gonna find that sort of thing. Not gonna be anytime soon we're gonna find that sort of thing. Didn't mean to press that button. I think I pressed like option or alt or something. Eh. Oh dear, okay. This is not the time for that nope that grass knot. 
finish it off. Oh dear. Got something confused right over here. Oh well. Alright, level up. Nice. Maybe we can finally evolve Neptune in this episode. Which should be fitting after the last episode when Fernback evolved. <sighs> yes, I'm a trainer. Yes, I am a trainer. Must defeat people. That's some weird kind of no, another weird couple. Whatever. Okay, uh, extra sensor on that, and I'm gonna uh, the brine cadaver, I guess. Oh yeah, that cadaver is getting pretty dangerous there. Better watch out. And that apom used uh, tickle. I believe that's like sort of a signature move of apom. I'm not. I don't think apom is like specifically in uh, platinum. You know, not like in the Platinum Pokedex expansion. Like the expansion to the Pokedex, you know, you know what I mean. Actually, it's... You know, Fernback is, I mean, I, I don't know. It's just use, go, go by the super effective move thing. Um... Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, no, not the frame rate. Now this, and that, and another thing, if it ain't one thing, it's another thing, if it ain't that, it's, you know. I'm not gonna continue with that sort of thing, I already said, I already said my part, or whatever. I said that enough, you know, paralysis, confusion, sleep, unnecessary crits, and now, uh, disable. <laughs> Okay, so I did continue it. What of it? What's of that? I don't care. I say what I want. I use cut. Uh huh. And oh, you know, Furback's actually shown like being really powerful. I'm, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. And still like quite a tanky thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah shut up. Let's check out its stats. I, I, I didn't really check them out. I was just kept pressing A, you know. We want to get through this as quickly as we can, but that is, that is not exactly quick. So, his defense is higher than special defense, but both are quite high, and yet it does, it actually does have some comparable attack stats. Yeah, this looks really nice. I've never used a uh, bronze orb before, a bronze or, or a bronze or bronze onk, whatever. I also have not used um, Wormadam before. I have used Magnemite in its evolutions, but not quite the Magnazone, which it ev all evolves into, much like um, Nose Pass evolved into Hobo Pass. So we got Rhyhorn, Finion, uh, Grass Knot, that, and Brine, that. Yeah. And those two moves should be able to defeat both of those. One hit KOs. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I just realized that we are very high level. Like, I really realized that. I mean, come on. Nep Neptune. I mean, we're, we're not quite like. Like two levels above them, but whatever. I don't care. As in, I don't care about how, like, ineffective that attack was. I should really start, like, sticking to, uh, extrasensory. Now, this is a couple I can understand, you know, like the PI with a, with a, like, sort of femme fatale kind of person, maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about some weird stuff here, you know. 
Talking about premonition. Alright. So, let me switch out Neptune. Let's see. How far is it from evolving? Oh, we're leveling up at least. At least. So, it's gonna be just a level. Just one itsy bitsy level. You can. I guess. Let's check. Yeah, I guess it's, I guess we can take a moment to heal up, you know. It'd be, you know, it'd be free, of course. You know, that's really nice, you know, just this random policeman just sitting here in this guardhouse or whatever, and he's just like, yep, I'll, I'll heal you up. It's not like, you know, like we're booked on reservations, but whatever. Alright, there's a yellow shard, that's nice. Uh, I don't really want to fight this little girl, she's probably having like morils and azumarils or whatever. Yeah, Just stuff that isn't too good to fight. I, I don't want to fight these people, I don't want to fight them, but I mean, I guess I will. I mean, this episode hasn't gone long on for, for so long. I don't want to talk to that guy either. I don't know why I went in there. Now this woman, this woman probably has something that is worth fighting. Oh, well, just one thing, but whatever. You got a little experience from that, yeah. Not bad. I guess I'll fight one of those fishermen. They usually have some things that are fairly interesting. You know. I mean, there's lots and lots of water types, and some of them are generic, like Goldeen and uh, uh, Marill. I don't know. I just don't really like to fight plain old water types, you know? Like this thing. Actually, this thing is actually kind of a threat, but whatever, you know? We can still take it down with a cut or two. No problem. Just use Rock Smash to ensure that we hit. And if the guy has another Rum Raid, then we know what to do. Ah, Gyarados. I don't think that is exactly the best situation. Uh, I guess we can go extra sensory. You know, there's always that. There's always that prop that that opportunity, you know. Oh dear, and there goes the frame rate. And there's a frame rate drop. Oh dear. At least I don't like actually drop frames with this recording setup. All right, that went quite well. I'm impressed with you, friend. Back, you're quite a strong thing. Yes. All right, and one room raid to to. Uh, take us off, or to wish us off. I forget. I forget what the phrase is. You know, there's some kind of phrase that's like to say goodbye. You know. And now it's time for Neptune to assume his final form, the trident on his face and fins of steel. It is. And then Polyon. Ha ha! And that is why I named it Neptune, because it has a trident, you know, face. I don't know if it learns anything. Oh, I, well, uh, actually, that's a really good move. I mean, it's better than Brine, I guess. And actually, it does. Oh, oh, right, it's the quick attack of that type, like this water type. And... I don't know. Sorry, but I'm not gonna do it. So let's check it out. Finally, we have a team fully, entirely, of steel types. Water steel, steel psychic, and bug steel. Oh yeah. So in the next episode, I'll just uh, edit that Word document thing yet again before we get into um, the next route. Oh, and there's a there's that guy. I don't really I don't really care. I guess we can show off Neptune. Neptune's final form. Finally. The final, final, finalish. The final form of finalness against the Shellas. Except I'm not going to use it. I don't really care. 
I don't think these berries are useful. I think they're like rust there. So in the next episode, let's play Pokemon Platinum A. Steel Monotype Run. That's right, it's going to be called that now. Well, I mean, next time. Next time, we're going to go to Pastoria City. We're going to deal with what we got to deal with there. And yeah, stay tuned for that.